Well, she sounds like she wants to go. Gotcha, I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Uh-oh, I got a guy with me. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, I was talking to, to Biggin and I was like, look, dude, you got the 310 started, so can you go two for two? We'll see. Yeah, we're going to see, ain't we? So yeah. let's tell, let me tell you the story on this old excavator behind me. So this is a Samsung. This is the SC280 LC3. And the story behind this is that they were digging out this dirt pit here and they were just moving along having a good old time and all of a sudden the drive pumps went out and so supposedly the engine cranks and the boom and uh, bucket and all that work it just won't it just won't track and so we're about to find out to see if indeed we can get it running and so like i said uh big and it was uh he said 10 years he says it's been sitting there 10 years so we'll we'll see well yeah. You think you can do it? Yeah, it don't make a difference, 10 or 20. Yeah. I mean, I could do it. Well, uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I, it's been once. It's been a long time since, you know, I've worked on an excavator. And, yeah. you know, I've only done this about, well, the 310 was the first time I ever worked on a yeah. piece of equipment. We'll, we'll figure so it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. All right, so let's get started. Let me give you a little tour of this place here. You got to be real careful because I don't want to, I don't want to get stung by some bees. And it's about the bee weather here. Oh, look, there yep. they, there's a right up there. couple of active ones right there uh okay that looks like a pump right there don't it that is all right so that might be the culprit let me go around and look and see here as i climb up this i'm pretty sure this is the battery tray and we pull that out with this tick thanks sir uh all right there you go so i don't know what system uh, i guess it's a 12 volt system I'll look Normally see. these are 24 volt, Let but look. that looks like it's wired for 12. Yeah, it does, don't it? Yeah. All right, so the, indeed that was. So I learned a lot. I learned a lot from you guys every time I make a video. And some one one guy told me he said how you can cheat, find out what kind of system it is, is look at the amperage gauge. And of course, this one's going to be digital. <laughs> oh, look, there's some more friends. If the amperage goes up to, you know, like not 48. You know, it's a, or a not 24, you know, it's a 20, 12 volt system. I, well, I thought the front, uh, front glass was busted out of it. It's just rolled up. Oh, yeah. We're just missing the door glass. Pesky kids. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Imagine that, huh? Yeah. Let's see what is in this compartment here. Oh, your air filter there. Man, I'm glad nothing jumped out at me there. All right. The radiator. So, man, these are all kind of wash nests in here. It's oh. so hot out here. The first thing I saw was, wow, it's got air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take we'll take that cleaner out here in a sec. Look at that. And I think you open up the top there. So let me yep. climb up top there. That's some little guinea wasps too. Yeah, them suckers. Yeah. Ain't Things no that get you and they keep getting you. Mm-hmm. All right, there's some hydraulic stuff there. Oh. There's the power plant. The old exhaust is gone. Yeah, it's going to sound like a uh, NASCAR one. Yeah. It'll fall on our head. No, it'll stay up. Okay. Yeah, I'll say I it will. So what I'll is tie it? a rope to it. It's got a Cummins in it. So that means it's going to crank. Yep. All right. I'm looking at what I'm doing now is I'm just surveying. The hose is looking good shape. Let's see if it's getting water in it. Kind of do our pre-checks here. Yep. Oh, wow. That's the first one in a while. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not a bad sign. It's a good sign, right? All right. Let's look at this dipstick. Yeah. Four mile long dipstick. Look at that. Full. I think we're, I think, look, did all we're going to do is throw a battery in it and get it going. Yeah. So you're, and then you're going to take credit for it. No. No, <laughs> Hank, you've been sitting here waiting on me, so it's going to be... Yeah, we can... It's got the fuel filters there. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. 
What do you think? Is there still a battery in it? Yeah. Let's get this show on the road. Yeah, I hear you. Sorry, is that fuel there? Yeah. Uh, it's pretty high level. You want to do your calibrated stick check? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me go get Let me okay. go get the official Samsung fuel gauge. All right, there you go. All All right, right, see, how... see, you got to clean this off. You know? Yeah, you don't want dirt and old fuel. Well, it's not even touching the bottom. Oh, yeah. And we've got, yeah, that's, that's plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, because I brought five gallons. That means I ain't got to use it. We get this thing running. I'm driving it to the house. Okay. All right. I'll run, uh, I'll run escort for you. Hey, look at this, y'all. I saw this sitting on the track. I'm not familiar. I don't know what this is. That battery was a, one of these here. The post. This yeah. one. And it's charged. I charged them all this weekend. While you carry that, I'm going to grab... I'm gonna grab the only tool we're gonna need today. <laughs> the old D-Walt, I love it. So far we're doing good, y'all. We've got a battery and we know where to put it. We haven't been stung yet. And we haven't been stung yet. That's a uh, 950 cold cranking that's That'll at least turn it over to see if it's works or not. You know what got I mean? Got a battery tool. <laughs> that's right. There you go. I need some big Group 31 type batteries. But those are really heavy too. Yeah, I'm so proud. When of I was 18, I worked at uh, this company called Redfish Marine Construction down in Santa Rosa Beach. And um, if you left the battery in the crane overnight, we had a crane on the barge and we were dropping pylons when the BP oil spill happened. And if you left the battery in the crane overnight, you come back in the morning, it'd be dead. We had a crane on a barge. Well. Every day, it was my job, because I was just a little help, <laughs> to carry that huge battery yeah. across. We would park at Noriega Point in the evening. Yeah. And I'd have to carry that big battery all the way across the sandbar, all the way back out of the parking lot. <laughs> and that seemed like the biggest thing in the world. That's because that's cause your back was good back then. Yeah, not anymore. I wish I still had, I wish I could go back to those days and be yeah, able to I tell them you. to. I hear you, dude. Get a different battery toter. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Come on, baby. What do you say now? Oh, yeah. She yeah I'll let you get that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've done so much. Is that, man, that's clean, dude. Oh, yeah. It's a little dusty, but it's a good shape. Yeah. Inner, the inner filter's good. You'd be surprised what these uh, filter elements cost. Yeah. Nah, they both look in good shape, dude. I'm gonna leave that like that for time being. And this might be the easiest will it start we've ever done. Go up there and turn that key and we'll see. I'm gonna get away. Oh, good. it's locked. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> uh, glass, be careful. Nothing up here. Nothing? Nope. All right. I got a solution for that. Yeah, I don't have any kind of power up here whatsoever and a nest full of guinea wolves right in front of my face. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and vacate the premises right now. <laughs> They were sitting there with an eviction notice right there in their hand. Yeah. Nah, you don't want to mess with those guys. Yeah, I see the starter here. Ugh. I have a starter button that we can hook to the solenoid and have a button to turn it over, or you want to do it with a screwdriver? Uh, I, yeah, we can do it either way. I've got one of those, too, so whatever floats your boat. You got your uh, yeah. cover removal tool? Yeah, hold on. I'll grab it. I'll try not to slice my hand off here. Look at you, little cat squirrel. I'm going to give this thing just a little bit of help. Uh, as far as loosening it up. Let's see what we got in the bag of tricks. Hmm. I've got some. I've got some. I just got to find it. Oh, here. I got some right here. Okay. Yeah. Good old liquid wrench. They need to make uh, elevators for these things or something. Yeah. Liquid wrench. Sold to excavators, starting stores everywhere. <laughs> Let me see. I got two ways to spray here, so let me... This stuff sticks. It really like sticks on there. That's what I like about it. Yeah. Let me get underneath it here. Now might be a good chance to plug my website, hamiltonvillefarm.com. We've revamped it so you can go, if you like, you know, want to get a Hamiltonville Farm t-shirt or some of our farm folks or something, go check it out over there at hamiltonvillefarm.com. <laughs> I don't have the appropriate size socket for that. Or if I did, I would refuse to use it. Yeah. You could say I do, but 
you know, we don't use those anymore. <laughs> Matter of fact, I threw all my sockets away last weekend. <laughs> after, you, after you're so successful on the 310? Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right, now let's see here. There's starter wires right there. It's running all the way down. Looks like it goes into the battery box. I'm just verifying that it does not have the solenoid on the starter. And it might, actually. I, I'm gonna go get up under it and look. Uh, got the old dirt, dirt creeper. Right. You called me a dirty creeper, is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, see anything revealing? You know, not really, but I need a meter. All right, I'll go get mine. Man, you're in the shade, bro. Yeah, I know. I'm going to stay here the rest of the day until you get it going, and then you can buy me lunch when we get done. I know it. All right. Pull these little caps off. Technique only. You want to hold these for me? Yes, sir. I might need you to hold the meter, too. Up. Okay, sure. Contrary to what you might believe, there's not a whole lot of space right here. <laughs> At least for me. Yeah. Oh, man. Then you can tell me what it's at. Oops. Okay, so we got power there. I says 13, I think. All right, so now I need the starter button. All right, let me go get the starter button. So we're going to do safety first. Uh, that way we don't get smashed. Lock out, tag out, you know. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a safe place to hang this lock. Let's see here. This looks like a good a place as any. Yeah, now. Here we go. All right, now that way nobody can operate this thing while we're working on it that's right yeah, i mean you know the thing that impresses me most about you is your your uh your your attention to safety you know how you think safety is paramount and all that stuff <laughs> so it's very very important. well that's actually not a place to hang that thing but you know <laughs> we're trying <laughs> back at it you hold the button all right i didn't get that <laughs> i wasn't talking to you siri lord have mercy so I don't think we're getting any power to the um, to the starter to the injection. Oh, Pump, hit that button right there to see what it does. All right. Nothing. Wow. Just hit it and hold it. There we go. Right. Ooh, that battery. We're, pro we're probably going to have to wire up too. Yeah. Hit it right there. I can't get a good connection. Yeah, on. I might be able to get my big ones over there. Getting a new alligator clip on. I am going to get another battery ready. Okie dokie. Put this jumper on this one here. And then this is. I think it fired when we were turning it over. I think so too. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I probably don't need to tighten it down until I get up here and didn't need to see the configuration. So I'll leave it loose. This has been a relatively simple process. Ah, right, here we go. We'll add this other battery into the box here. Battery. Battery. Oh, you, the crescent wrench is on the track there. Okay. I'll take this off. I wish the key would work. Yeah, make make life a little easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, I feel like that thing that's on the track right there. Oh, it might be something. To hook up to get power to the cab. Oh yeah, maybe, huh? Yeah. Cause it's acting like, you know, the battery's shut off is turned off. I'm gonna take a look at that while you're doing that. Let's see what we'll see. See, I think, now this might just be, I think one of those wires hooked into here. Let's see, we're, we're basically just bypassing that. For those of you who are new to batteries, you run them in parallel to get more amps, and you run them in series to get more volts, in case you didn't know. So if you wanted to get more volts, we would hit the negative to the positive right. and vice versa. Right. It would double your voltage. Right. But I think we just need more amps. Chin you know? Yeah, can force. 
That's what we need is a couple CB radios. Yeah. Listen. I was a gear jammer for a while. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Watch him wash, though. Just be careful. Yeah, we still don't have anything up here. I wonder if this has to be up to get a signal. We have an emergency shutdown button up here, though. And there's two wires that are disconnected on this. Seat switch. Looks like it. Well. See the blue tap? The yeah. Um, problem is, you would get a light, a chime, something, I feel like, in this instrument panel uh yeah. the hour meter is not even coming on so i just think we have yeah absolutely nothing here all right we're gonna try it one more again probably need to well once we see that it turns over we need to make sure it's getting fuel somehow right yeah hopefully you see what he's doing he's just trying to get, get make a good contact there with the, the wiring try it again i wonder if the starter is that got a bendix in it you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, this wire back a little bit further so I can just cross it right here. Okay. Away with this starter button. Gotcha. I've had problems with that thing before. Mine, anyway. Where you put a screwdriver on it, it'll work, but it won't work through the starter button. Huh. Reason. Yeah. It's definitely going to need a starter, I believe. Let's see if we can get it rolling over. Help right. it with that ether. We might be able to get some money out of it. You ready down there? Yeah. We can find a match, the sweet spot again. Nothing, huh? Are you are you gonna be one for two? Well, I mean, if the starter is spin, I can't. <laughs> I mean, I'll put a rope on it if I got to and full start it. <laughs> so this here is a fuel shut off solenoid. Yeah. We need to. Uh, while we're waiting on the starter to cool down, <clears throat> see if we can get it that thing open. She won't ever fire with that one closed. So try to get some power running to it or unhook it and open it manually. But we got to get it. It got a linkage on it back yeah. here. Yeah. See if you can pull it with your hand open. Yeah, you, this is good right here. You going to be able to open it up all the way? Maybe. It's a big one. That that starter dragging, you know, is I, I don't think about because I think well we added more amps and stuff yeah. and it's still dragging a little bit. Well, before we we thought the way it looked in the battery box that it could be 12 volt. I think we ought to try and see if it's 24 volt because like I say, yeah, that might you know well, then yeah. maybe you know we can get some things working. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, if we do 24 volt, if it's, you know, because initially our thoughts are, are this 12 volt system or where, because we had the two leads coming out, you know, just to, yeah. that. I, I didn't even think about using a jumper on those batteries like that, you know what I mean? Uh, to make it a 24 volt system, I just assumed that maybe there were. Well, is, we don't want to come in here soon as 24 volt and hook it up 24 volt. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and fry the electrical system. Yeah, there, yeah. So. Yeah, that's right. It, let me ask you this. If it is a 24 volt, would, would the stuff in the dash work? Yeah, probably. You know, it, would, it definitely wouldn't work at a 12 volt. Yeah, that okay. That was a 24 volt right, well, let's, let's Let's try this again then. Okay. All right. I'm telling you, I, I think what is going to be hilarious if we crank this thing up and literally all we've used is a crescent wrench. Like we haven't used any other tool. Nope. Yeah, and you saw my long screwdriver to hold it open. I was kind of disappointed in you, to be honest. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were allowed <laughs> to use long screwdrivers. Oh, man. So instead of running parallel, we'll run them in series. Right. And get 24 volts out of it and then we'll yeah. see where we are now okay hopefully we get somewhere fast because it's hot man it's a little warm ain't you it? decided to show up late today so. <laughs> well i dock that from your pay okay i'm sorry <laughs> but you at mcdonald's now that's right yeah so to run a battery in series like this you'll run your positive out of the you know to the starter or whatever to a battery and then you'll jump from a negative to a positive on another battery, increasing its voltage, and then you'll just ground it to the frame or the ground wire of the piece of equipment itself. Well, so far we've only used crescent wrenches. We literally have only used a crescent wrench today. Now, I'd hate to run that streak, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so by all, by all means, let's just keep the crescent wrenches. 
Because I wish Tommy was with us. What Tommy would do, he'd run a screw in between the post and the, the bolt. <laughs> I've seen that before. Yeah. He's done on these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, take up the difference. Yeah. That works until it don't. Until it don't. What y'all can't see behind this camera is that me and Biggin have about nine wasps flying around us, and we're trying not to act scared. Um, or I am, anyway. Well, you know. when you start acting scared, there's wasps. They know you're they wrong. They sense that fear, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Pheromone, uh, fear is the biggest pheromone. Look at you spouting out scientific data. Well, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know. I'm yeah, trying dude. to sound smart. Yeah, listen. I, I'll Google it when I get back. I'm from South Alabama, dude. Let's see if the, uh, we got anything in the cab right. now. You might be able to just hop up there in the seat. Uh, well, I mean, the lock's on it, so I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Well, hold on. Yeah, that's right. we got to <laughs> unlock the lock. <laughs> don't want to get anybody hurt here. Yeah. Well, you know, it's you know, you could just slide it off the top, but no, 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 no. That, then you OSHA might have a problem with that one. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. All right, there, big dude. Jump up there and turn that switch on. All right. See what works. Yeah, we should. Man, watch these guys up here on your Ooh, corner yeah. here. I see. Oh, oh I heard something. Lights. Yeah, I heard something. Yep. Let's see what we can do here. Oh. Oh Lord. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man. Now we got All right. Now we're cooking with gas, right? Yeah. Whenever you're ready, big dog. Ready? Yeah. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Does it have? Uh, did you cut the switch off, or did that cut off? No, it, it, it cut off. It burnt the ether out. Yeah. All right. You wanna try again? Yeah. That's a good sign. Yeah, you want to hop up there and see if that uh, um, fuel shutoff solenoid opened? Okay. If you hand me that, I'll I'll try to spray some up in here while I'm while you're bumping it over. Well, the safety switch here inside this cab is broken. What you're talking about earlier? Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, that won't be good. Cause it's turning over good. Yeah, so we might have to manually open up the, uh, due to the safety wiring here, we might have to manually open up the fuel shutoff solenoid so we can get some playtime out of her. Okay. Unless we sit in here and try to rewire the yeah. safety circuit. Uh, you want to turn those lights off, uh, switches off? Yeah. I found an emergency shutdown over yeah. here. So let's see if we can pull this up and okay. see if we can start it. All right. There it goes. It's gonna go. Hold on. So it looks like we got a, a glow plug heat here too. Um, I don't know how it works on the switch because everything's loose and it looks like it's supposed to turn back a notch for the glow plugs. Yeah. But the switch won't turn back. I think the switch might be froze up to the glow plugs. Okay. So I might just have to use ether as glow plugs. All right. Hmm. Seriously, it could be bad hydraulic pump or iron yeah. or tone. We get it running and see if we we can track it down. Well, she sounds like she wants to go. I'm warming up the glow plugs. Okay. I mean, she'll get right there, you know? And she'll get right there. I wonder if it's a safety switch. Um, let's uh, let's open that throttle up manually. Do you see that throttle moving at all? Uh, let me see, do it. I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to use something besides an adjustable wrench. <laughs> we're actually gonna crack these injectors well, before over. we before we ruin our streak okay go ahead let's uh let's spin it over if you want to get in there and spin it over while i hold this valve open okay and if that doesn't work then we're gonna have to bleed the injectors okay all right i'll turn it over all right here we go 
Ready? Yep. Yeah, the, uh, the, the fuel shutoff valve wasn't opening. Look at that, dude. Two so for that's two. what that, they ran that cable to right there. If we get that cable to pull out, yeah. it'll run. All right, let me pull this. This is what he's talking about. Sounded good, though. It did sound good, didn't it? All right. So, we're, hey, a crescent wrench. Yeah, that's all we use. That's the reason I said, let's not go with the three quarter. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Big. Yo. I just wanted to say that it started when I turned the switch. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just didn't know. Well, I just want to clarify that. That still doesn't mean I'm buying lunch. <laughs> so now we know why these slip pliers were in the seat. It's to pull. It was to pull this out. Here. All right, here we go. I'm going to fire right up. <laughs> now let's see if the hydraulic cord on this thing. Don't work. Let me see. Push it down. All right. Let's see. Nothing. Hey, I don't know how much that's gonna work without the safety switch. Oh yeah, yeah. Nothing works here. Hey, play with your throttle. Throttle don't work. But man, that engine sounds good, dude. Huh. I bet if old Chris from Let's Dig was here, he'd know what to do. Yeah. So we can't figure out, not without spending another few hours on this thing. There it goes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, your hand's so daggone big. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Megan, you're two for two, buddy. Look at that. Uh-huh. Well, he did say the hydraulics are messed up in it, but it might be that switch. But man, that well, sounds good. Well, the throttle won't work either, so I think it, it's definitely got a, a wiring issue in the cab from sitting out in the weather. Yeah. Surprise! We're actually back out at the excavator. Let me tell you a little story on on the excavator you saw in the video where we, we we looked at it all and we got it cranked but the hydraulics wouldn't work well what you this is like two days later sean from you know he's got josie repair at josie repair it's his facebook page he got in contact with the owner and was like hey i think i can fix this for you for your hydraulics and stuff like that so the owner of the machine was like well come on let's let's fix it so from the time you saw us crank it to the time that we came back to it Sean's been back out here and he's been working on it. So now we're going to see if we can actually get it cranked back up and that the hydraulics are working. If you if you're paying any attention, you notice that the boom's pointing the other direction, right? Because it used to the boom used to be pointing this way. And so now the boom's pointing this way. Let's just take a quick gander. Let's go kind of go over and let's uh let's watch these hydraulics work because I it kind of brings closure to the video, if you will, because this guy's gonna put this thing back to work. I'll get Sean to tell you some of the details here in a sec. All right, Biggin. So tell, kind of t walk us through what's happened since we've actually started this thing. Okay. Well, I come back out here this afternoon and I uh, got in contact with the owner and he was so excited we got it running. <laughs> and uh, he, he uh, now obviously wants it fixed sure. at all oh, costs. Okay, good. But so I came back out here. I found that the strainer was full in the tank. Uh, the, re the return size strainer was full. So I got that cleaned out. We got it moving some. It is still going to need a hydraulic pump, the main tandem pump. Okay. Um, and that's over here. All right, I'll let's show take a look you. at that. So it's going to be a pretty big job, but it's not that bad. Um, this here's the pump. Obviously, it's connected right up to the back of the Cummins engine. So it'll, it'll basically just be busting all these lines down and, okay. and pulling the pump. That's an expensive fix, but uh, not so much when you think about how, you know, yeah, how much work the equipment will handle. Yeah, yeah, no kidding, right? Well, can we fire it up and see, yeah. it, see it move here? Yeah, hopefully if the batteries aren't dead. Let's All, see. Right. All right, here we go. Let's fire it. still some. got our friends in here. Oh, yeah? I need, yeah, I need to bring out some wasp and hornet spray. Yeah, that's right. Oh, got to pull that, pull that cable out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's another thing I'm going to fix and make right. Man, 
that thing fired right up. Man. Fired right up. Busted a hose. Busted a hose. I don't know if y'all caught that on the camera, but. Busted Got a busted line. line. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's spraying out. It's spraying out pretty bad up there. But it's a massive piece of equipment. stuff just spraying all over it. Uh, it wasn't busted yesterday. Yeah. But hey, that could be a problem. Look at it. So the turntable ain't turning. No, she don't want to go nowhere. So just a little bit of work to do, but ain't that cool, man? Yes. Listen to that old beast. Think biggin. Well, now you gotta replace a hose. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's hope it's a hose and not something else. Let's see. Yeah, let's take a look up there. But man, wasn't that cool, y'all? To see that thing move again. I mean, that's the first time that thing's moved in, well, since the <laughs> first time it's moved on camera. Man, 10, 15 years. Yeah, it's a rubber years, line busting. Years. Let's take a look at it here. All right. Yeah, there's the all the valves. You got my handy dandy Hamiltonville farm master tool. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm so proud of you, man. It only took you two videos to, where you're going to start using the crescent wrench for everything. <laughs> well, you know, your knuckles will thank you. It took me a long time to go from being an amateur mechanic using a crescent wrench. Yeah. <laughs> to a, well, I'm not going to say master mechanic, that's Brandle. But, uh, you know, but now I'm back to the crescent wrenches, so it's kind of yeah. a, a shot to my feels a little bit. It's but. A, listen, it's you come full circle, man. <laughs> Look at that. Cool. We, what do you think? Should we do a video on replacing that pump motor and fixing this? This here. Yeah, uh, I think we should, but it's not up to me. <laughs> no, <I think. laughs> you guys leave a comment below if you'd like to see a video of us swapping that hydraulic pump motor out that'd be pretty cool i think so let me know if you think so in the comments all right hank spin that over let's see if we can uh figure out where that leaks from all right here i go was that enough or you need more uh one more time oh there it is yep coming out of that steel line right there okie dokie well, daggone, we're not going to see it dig or whatever, but it is pretty cool to see the actual boom move again and all that kind of stuff and see it fire up again. But I think that we'll be back to this. Big and we'll put a new pump on it. Repair, <laughs> repair, uh, was it a steel line you said? Yeah, it's a steel line. Yeah, repair the steel line up there. So this is going to be a fun little project. The only bad part about this project is it literally is two and a half hours away from the house. So us getting a chance to come up here, uh, you know, at a time that's convenient for everybody that's the longest pole in this tent so to speak but anyway all right well listen we appreciate you guys watching if you think big and will get this thing running and fixed again well it's hard saying not knowing but uh <laughs> but i do believe we'll have it going i believe you will too man i wanted to show look it did move it did move about what's that a foot and a half two foot you know so i mean you know all all is not lost you know well, i brought you out here today full intention to show you that it was moving around Little yeah. did I know that 
we had a busted hydraulic line, but well, listen, you can't you can't be bringing me two and a half hours away and then busting lines big. And you can well, it looks like I'm gonna have to buy you lunch today, right? That's right. So, hey, you guys, take care. God bless. We'll catch you on the next one.